Hey, y'all. I shared in my newsletter that I have been a hero in Zoom figuring out this really not obvious way of adding registration questions to a Zoom meeting registration. If you hold Zoom meetings and you require people to register, start collecting info from them. So I'm going to show you how I did it. You're going to learn how to set it up. And then you've got to keep watching because finding those answers is not intuitive. I'm showing you where to go inside your Zoom to get the reports. That way you're not going in blind to meetings you have with people, you know a little bit about them. Also, it's critical for follow-ups afterwards. Ask them questions that's gonna allow you to sort people and follow up. We're gonna jump into the screen share. Before we do that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna create a meeting. All right, so right here, we're giving it a title. Let's add a description. This will be important for us to see where this comes through. So test description. All right, test description. Check this out. Let's see where that goes. So let's say that this meeting is April 30th, 9 a.m. It's for one hour. Let's make it a recurring meeting. How about we make this monthly? No end time on the 30th of the month. Okay, sure. Registration required. So let's click that. You may or may not need to click this. We're going to keep going. I don't like passcodes, but you might. Then we'll click save. All right. Here is where it gets interesting. We haven't added questions yet, right? So you have to come here to registration. And then let me move my face. This button right here, that is the one you we have to go to. Who knew that? It took me forever. Studying this stuff, I don't know if this is going to apply to you. This is where I'm going, though, to teach you about this. First name and email is required. So let's say I want to require a last name. Let's say I want people to know what country they're in. Maybe I don't want to work with anyone that's outside of the U.S. for my accounting clients. There's different things you can put here. Maybe you want to require a phone number. Um, organization, let's, ooh, oh, awfully have to click both sides. Okay, sorry. Field versus being required. Um, maybe let's just say this is optional but we want to give them a chance and let's say country and region is not don't forget to click the left side y'all I just made a mistake on that country maybe for an accounting intake you might want to know the number of employees they have all right so questions and comments let's click that I want to show y'all what happens I actually don't recommend clicking that but this is just basically a blank field we'll sh I'll show it to you add a question so I created a question called very important question I have this block checked here and I have this box checked here. And we're making this short text. You have to hit save. Don't forget to hit save. I have forgotten to. Add another question. Let's make this one required as well. We're going to call this question very important poll number two. Let's give it a question mark. This would be, you know, type your questions out. What services are you looking for? Or how did you find me? That's the, what you would do. Here's, let's do, let's do a poll though. The single choice. We'll just leave it as option one and two. and and I added another one created a third option so you'll you'll edit these make it whatever you need uh, let's save it all right and let's say you do want a generic text box don't click that one at the top that said questions make a more clear one so I just wrote any other important information you want to share okay um, um, um we're gonna keep that short text we're gonna save it save all Obviously, there's other stuff you can check here, but all we're doing is figuring out how to add those questions. So let's take a look at it. I just came here into the meeting link, came back to detail, grabbed the meeting link. Let's post it in a new tab. I grabbed my meeting registration link, y'all, and I put it in a new tab. So this is an example of a recurring meeting. Maybe you have like a small networking group or a mastermind group or I don't know, something that and they're going to register for all these things. You might want to not make it recurring and instead create new ones for every month if you want people to have to, you know, new people to sign up for your April 30th meeting versus your May 30th meeting. But look, so, all right, I got my name, Test, Testerson. I put in a email address, and look, I have a red star here. I'm required to put in, I'm from the U.S., test org. Let's say I have, look, this is their defaults. They gave me number of employees. Uh, a, B, S, D, F. That's my answer. Here's my poll, or, you know, my, my options. A, S, D, F. A, S, D, F. Let's register for this. Now this person has successfully registered for my Zoom. 
I'm popping over here to a new tab to show you the email that this person received. So just so you know, okay, this is a recurring meeting with no end date. Here's one limitation. This is not super obvious. They have to click that to add it to their own calendar. And then now let's come in here and see that we have someone registered for a meeting. So I'm back in, I'm still in my meeting. We're going to registrations. We can view the registration and we have some info here, but maybe you need, you clearly you're gonna need to know what they answered, right? So let me show you how to do that. All right, on this menu bar on the left side, y'all, I came to reports. I went into, hold on, let me show you. I went into meetings and registration. I changed my filter just so I could show y'all easily. Um, the April 30th was that date of that registration. Let's generate this report real quick. Generate for all registrants. Okay, so this is the thing that it spit out. And the person who registered is named Test, last name Testerson, email, organization, number of employees. These are the, the hand answered questions that they typed in. So this question right here was the poll or the, you know, the, the select from predetermined answers. This is what you would get. So I use this for my once a month free FreshBooks Q&A that people register for. I don't have a recurring meeting. I create a new meeting each month and I've actually templated the, the meeting so I can just make it every month. When I'm starting to advertise to get people to, to sign up, they would register and like last time, I think I had 30 registrants and they had put some good information. I'm not sharing my specific questions. I'm not hiding it. I just, it's not important. But I asked a few questions. It allows me to know a little bit more about them in advance of the call, which is good. So I'm not going in quite as blind, but then also really it gives me good information of following up later. And I have a record of them. All right, bookkeeping titles of community. I hope this helped. If you've got other questions that you have when you see me sharing in my bi-weekly newsletter for this community that's published on Substack, respond to me and I will make videos. I made this video because someone said, ooh, tell me about how you do that. I need to do that. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps this channel out. I appreciate it. See you in the bookkeeping class of community. Adios, y'all.